Hello dear friends, it's mind blogging the amount of economic news that is coming out because of the evergrande Chinese crisis, the fall of the markets and the US federal debt. It is very labor laborious to, sh to sort and summarize as much information as is coming out just like harvesting the crop. Opinion piece. Full harvest moon. Time to reap the harvest. Gold makes back-to-back -back gains. Bank of America sounds the alarm. Stock market collapse expected. People believe the economy will weaken. Debt trap crisis in the markets. The biggest drop in recent weeks has taken place. Morgan Stanley warns of a further fall in indices. China Evergrande default will force bailout. Banks call for room to grow cryptocurrencies. Central banks accelerate digital currency movement. U.S. Congress in favor of measure to avoid default. La Palma Volcano warns of possible release into the ocean. New eruption of Etna Volcano in Sicily, with emission of ash and lava. False narrative of a food shortage is being constructed. Google's quantum computer has a strange time crystal. Perez Reverte, in quotes, only idiots believe that everyone on their side is good. The spirit of Occupy Wall Street is alive and well on Reddit and other social networks. Let's start. We are in the full harvest moon, and this is great news if we put it together with the current situation, because it indicates that the time has come to reap what has been thrown, good or bad, because it is impossible to reap something other than what has been thrown, despite the fact that some deny the universal law of karma. The full moon appears at the time of its opposition with the sun, which is when the whole path of facing the earth is illuminated. A harvest is a set of what some, someone obtains as a result of his acts or qualities, or by coincidence of events. The harvest moon is the full moon closest to the autumnal equinox, which occurs in the northern hemisphere around September 23rd, and in the southern hemisphere on or around March 21st. Its characteristics are similar to those of the hunter's moon. The appearance of these moons, larger than usual, and of a golden, yellowish or reddish hue, is the result of the opposition close to the horizon. In this situation, light from a star passes through a much larger amount of atmosphere, which scatters the blue component allowing the reddish component to pass in a straight line to the observer's eye. This effect is known as Rayleigh scattering. In addition, its larger apparent size is the result of the so-called lunar illusion or magnifying glass effect and affects any object low on the horizon. The short delay in the rising of the full moon makes it possible to extend the activity of farmers during the harvest, and hunters stalking their prey throughout the night, hence the name given to these moons. It is also known as the white moon, the single moon, or the moose called moon. Various cultures celebrate gatherings, festivals, and rituals that are intrinsically related to these moons. And sometimes members whose births coincided with one of these moons are asked to organize a celebration for the rest of the community. The harvest moon arrives in the twilling of a season of practical, analytical, and meticulous Virgo, the sign opposite Pisces, where precisely this full moon occurs, although today, Wednesday, we enter Libra, the sign of balance and equilibrium. The sign of the fish is ruled by Neptune, the astrological planet that represents dreams, ideals, and spirituality. 
astrologers predict that we will have more vivid and revealing dreams because the full moon amplifies the sensory quality. Alarms. Bank of America sounds the alarm. Bank of America's teams, team of its strategists want, wants in a note distributed to clients to the eerie similarities between the current environment and the one that led to a rapid 20% market decline three years ago. They believe that the company's alarming third quarter profit projections are the canary in the coal mine. X22 report. People believe the economy will waken because ransomware attacks on the food supply are increasing, while the Fed is caught in the debt trap. The dark side has no place to hide, nowhere to run, and there will be no deals. The truth is about to be unleashed on the world, and the dark side is preparing to stop it. Get ready for the sonic boom. October will turn red because the hunt, the hunt is on. The clock is ticking. Collapse in markets due to debt trap. Noriel Rubini, known for foreseeing the modish meltdown that helped produce the 2008 financial crisis, said the post-crisis world appears heated for a repeat. In quotes, my concern is that we are in a debt trap, Rubini said. When central banks are going to want to essentially eliminate unconventional monetary policy, given the rates of indebtedness, there is a risk of collapse in the bond market, in the credit market, in the stock market, in the economy, and therefore we will be in that debt trap, and we want to be able to normalize monetary policy rates. Morgan Stanley wants a further decline in major indices. Major stock market indices around the world suffered an unprecedented drop on Monday, September 20th. Now experts believe that an, an eventual stock plunge of more than 20% could be more than a real danger. Two likely scenarios. Morgan Stanley experts are considering two scenarios for the development of the market situation. According to the first, the hot, more optimistic one, the Fed would stop stimulating the economy to prevent it from overheating. As a result, this scenario would lead to a 10% correction of the S&P 500. But an icy or pessimistic scenario is increasingly likely, analysts say. In this case, the economy's growth rate would slow down and corporate earnings would decline, leading to a correction of up to 20%. The focus of the earthquake. The earthquake in the stock markets originated in Asia after the shares of the Chinese real estate giant Evergrande, Evergrande plummeted by up to 19% due to concerns about its debt default. This situation has led some voices to claim that it could become the Chinese Lehman Brothers Aladdin to the 2008 real estate crisis that rushed down the world economy. The company's debt, including accounts payable, is approximately $305 billion, which is equivalent to about 2% of China's GDP. Another reason that adds fuel to the fire is the Federal Reserve meeting, which is expected this Wednesday, September 22. Investors are waiting to find out whether the central bank will finalize its plan to withdraw a stimulus in the face of high inflation in the world's leading economy, or leave it for the coming months. Economy. House Democrats vote on debt limit. House Democrats on Tuesday advanced legislation to fund the federal government through December 3rd and raise the nation's borrowing limit. U.S. Congress in favor of measure to avoid default. The House of Representatives voted to advance a measure to temporarily fund the government to avoid a September 30th default 
and suspend the nation's debt limit. The lower house of Congress voted 217 to 207 to unblock a procedural hurdle and move the legislation forward for a final debate and vote. New York stock exchange recovers. Stock market recovered for Monday's massive sell-off at the open, but indexes soon began to waken and retreated lower after 90 minutes of trading. The Spanish stock market rose 1.16% and regained 8,700 points. The Spanish stock market rose 1.16% on Tuesday and regained 8,700 points by wiping out part of the previous day's losses due to the bankruptcy of the Chinese real estate company Evergrande and thanks to the renewable energy and tourism companies. Euro rises against the door. The euro has managed to climb back above 1,172 wild, no, excuse me, 1.172, while the dollar remained stable against the broad basket of currencies. Biden sanctions cryptocurrency exchange over ransomware attacks. The Biden administration on Tuesday unveiled sanctions against the cryptocurrency exchange for its alleged role in allowing illegal payments for ransomware attacks, officials said, as part of a broader crackdown on the growing threat. J.P. Morgan takes on British re rebels with the launch of digital bank Chase. J.P. Morgan is challenging British rebels on their home tough with the launch Tuesday of its long-awaited digital retail bank Chase as part of what the lender hopes will be an expansion. French submarine project was at risk for years. France should not have been surprised that Australia cancelled its submarine contract, as major concerns about delays caused to Iran's and suitability had been officially and publicly aired, aired for years. Australian politicians said, Gold continues to rise. Gold makes back-to-back -back gains. Gold futures closed higher for a second straight session on Tuesday as the dollar retreated, helping extend gains in the precious middle, which has been partially supported by concerns about the possible default by one of China's largest real estate companies. Gold's attractiveness. Buying the yellow metal Monday was a double benefit. Gold is a safe haven asset, so it attracts investors. When economic conditions are bad, traders traditionally view gold as a store of value. In addition, there is a correlation with bond yields. As treasury yields fell as a result of safe haven flows, Gold has had a lower opportunity to coast to gold. Gold's appeal appears to be reinforced by current market conditions. However, its fundamentals remain sound. However, there are rumors that Beijing may offer Evergrande a rescue package this week. Evergrande crisis. Evergrande defaults on loans to banks. China Evergrande Group missed interest payments due Monday to two of its biggest bank creditors, bringing the cash-strapped developer one step closer to one of the country's biggest debt restructurings. A default or succession of payment is feared. Evergrande with retail investors with Gucci handbags and Dyson appliances Lured by the promise of yields close to 12%, freebies like Dyson air purifiers and Gucci handbags, and the guarantee of China's best selling developer. Tens of thousands of investors bought wealth management products through China Begrant Group. Headache for China 
If Evergrande were to fail, the consequences would affect millions of people, including employees, buyers, creditors, suppliers and investors. The Chinese real estate company is in big trouble, but Beijing is likely to prevent any contagion from infecting the rest of the economy. Reactions Western bonds fall. Bonds of other real estate developers fell sharply and concerns about contagion in Chinese credit markets. Investor panic. The thought of a Lehman Brothers style collapse in China sent investors rushing for the exits on Monday. Investors were unsettled by news that China's top property developer Epic Grant was on the page of defaulting on a mountain of debt and are worried that Beijing will allow the company to crash and burn. And burn. Epic Grande is one of China's largest lenders. It has a staggering $300 billion in debt, more than any other publicly traded developer in the world, and has become the model for an overheated Chinese property market. Analyst Optimism A widely expected default by China, China Epigrand Group is unlikely to trigger a broader malaise that threatens the overall stability of China's financial system in the same way that the collapse of investment bank Lehman Brothers did during the global financial crisis in 2008, analysts said. Rescue China Evergrande default will force bailout. Lingering fears of default overshadowed efforts by China Evergrande Group's chairman to boost confidence in the embattled company on Tuesday, as Beijing showed no sign it would intervene to curb ripple effects in the global economy. China has it under control. Wall Street analysts are putting their faith in the CCP. After a harrowing Monday, when risk assets planked globally on fears of a collapse in a China Grande Group, some of the world's biggest banks and money managers rushed to reassure investors that this is not Lehman Brothers' time. The message from firms such as Citigroup Inc., Fidelity International Limited, and Alliance Bernstein Holding LP is that Epic Grant may default, but Chinese authorities will take steps to prevent the real estate giant's crisis from destabilizing the financial system. Too big to fail. Epic Grant is probably too big to fail, and the impact of a default on this bonds on the Chinese banking system and suppliers could be quite large, so we would expect that the Chinese authorities to step in and work on restructuring to get through this moment without a more significant incident occurring. The crisis could become so complicated for China's economy that Beijing will have to find ways to stabilize it, but one expert says it is unlikely that Chinese authorities will bail out the company. Cryptocurrencies Bitcoin falls below $40,000 as regulatory drumbeat grows. Bitcoin fell for a third day, briefly dipping below $40,000 in volatile trading for the first time since August amid growing criticism from regulators. Bank ask for, banks ask for room to grow cryptocurrencies. Larger banks are asking an international body of regulators to give them the space to increase their exposure to crypto assets, sparking a debate over where security measures should be placed in the emerging asset class. Central banks accelerate digital currency moves. The pace of digital currency development by central banks around the world has accelerated since the onset of the crisis. According to a survey, 86% of respondents are investigating the potential of central bank digital currencies, with 60% in the experimentation phase 
and 14% testing specific problems. Afga Afghanistan. Taliban expands economic thing as Afghan crisis deepens. Afghanistan's Taliban government bolstered its, its economic team on Tuesday, appointing a trade minister and two deputies as the group tries to revive to revive a financial system in shock over the abrupt end of billions of dollars in foreign aid. Eight in foreign aid. Ecology. Success of Britain's first green bond. Britain sold £10 billion pounds of it, its first green government bond on Tuesday after attracting more than $137 billion of investor demand, a record showing the clamour for assets that can be marketed as good for the planet. British energy companies stopped taking on new customers. A number of smaller UK gas and power suppliers have stopped taking on new customers in a dramatic escalation of the country's energy crisis. European states breached air pollution limits in 2020. Most European Union countries breached at least one air pollution limit, limit last year, even as closures improved air quality in many regions. According to provisional data from the European Environment Agency, released Tuesday. Solar industry boots demand for silicon. An unexpected surge in demand for silicon, mainly for, from solar power industries in China, Europe and the US, has led to a large shortfalls and full price spike that shows no signs of abating. Migration crisis. Haitian exp expulsions could violate international law. The United Nations top refugee official, Filippo Grandi, said Tuesday that mass expulsions of Haitians without assessing their protection needs could contravene international law and constitute forced returns. Consent over deportations. United Nations agencies on Tuesday expressed consent over the deportation of migrants to Haiti and said people massed along the border who feared violence or persecution at home had the right to, to seek asylum. Mexico struggles to keep migrants away from border. An attempt by Mexico to contain thousands of migrants at its southern border with Guatemala has created a major humanitarian headache for President AMLO and has failed to prevent many from arriving at the border en masse. Problems The great thickness of the lava wall advancing towards the sea in La Palma, up to 12 meters in some points, could cause in areas of greater slope the formation of large fragments of lava that could detach from the front and reach greater distances. Families race to save belongings as lava from La Palma volcano nears homes. Families rushed to retrieve belongings from their homes and escape advancing lava Tuesday as sirens blared and helicopters flew through the smoke-filled air from an erupting volcano of the Spanish island of La Palma. The eruption began on September 19, 19th. And since then, eight vents of the volcano have been spewing lava. So far, some 6,000 people have been evacuated throughout the Canary Island. One house narrowly avoided being swallowed by the volcano's lava, while it is estimated that the flow has already spread over 103 hectares, destroying more than 160 buildings and numerous crops. New eruption of the Etna volcano in Sicily with ash and lava emissions. The Etna volcano in the south of the Italian island of Sicily has experienced a new eruption on its south southeast crater with ash and lava emission, while the amplitude of volcanic tremors is increasing. 
Restaurant workers demand living wages. Restaurants have received ongoing reports that they are struggling to find enough workers to fill vacant positions while operating with reduced staff. Workers have attributed this labor shortage to poor wages, wages and waking conditions, lack of respect from customers, and safety concerns. Hundreds storm from Namibia's parliament. About 300 protesters stormed Namibia's parliament on Tuesday as the National Assembly was due to vote $1 billion compensation offer from Germany, billion with B, offer from Germany to atone for its 1904-1908 colonization of the Herero and Nama etnias. Curious. Cambodian students built named drone. A group of Cambodian students, initially inspired by a desire to overcome their series of notorious traffic, designed a prototype drone that they hoped to eventually use to ferry people ar around Phnom Penh and even help fight fires. Australia has lost a third of its koalas in the past three years. Australia has lost about 30% of its koalas in the past three years, hit by drought, bushfires, and developers filling, felling trees. The Australian Koala Foundation said, urging the government to do more to protect the creature's habitat. Google's quantum computer has a strange time crystal. The other widely time crystal inside Google's quantum computer could change physics forever, according to Ben Turner. The crystal is capable of eternally alternating between states without losing energy. Researchers working in a partnership with Google may have used the Tech Giant's quantum computer to create an entirely new phase of matter, a time crystal. With the ability to alternate forever between two states without losing energy, time crystals sidestep one of the most important laws of physics, the second law of thermodynamics, which states that the disorder or entropy of an isolated system must always increase. These strange time crystals remain stable resisting any random dissolution despite existing in a state of constant flux. The scientists were able to create the time crystal for approximately 100 seconds using qubits inside the core of Google's Sycamore quantum processor. Messages The spirit of Occupy Wall Street is alive and kicking on Reddit and other social media platforms. Ten years later, the populist rage can be found inside the stock market where retail traders have taken over to wage a very different and more effective sitting on Wall Street within the digital realm. X-22 report. A narrative of food shortages is building and they are fighting over the next currency. The central banks want the old paper currency destroyed so they can move the people of the world to their new digital currency, which the IMF will control. To this end, the narrative of food shortages is being prepared. The only way forward would be the people's currency controlled by we the people. Perez Reverte, in quotes, Only idiots believe that everyone on their side is good. The writer Arturo Perez Reverte considers that all idiots and undocumented people believe that those on their side are all good and the opposite side all bad, and assures that his heroes have no ideology, like those who populate his new novel The Italian a home to do the homeland that is the Mediterranean. Puffner says, 
I tell you now that we are all waiting for the moment when all will be revealed. It's not yet the time, but the wake of the dark side is unraveling. There are things afoot, but you must take your advice and not make extravagant predictions or make changes just to be heard. All sort of things are being said. Be still and know that I am God, in quotes, is all you need to do. Programs are on hold for the duration of this poignant crisis. You don't know what will happen to your next, and you are not in a position to be good stewards of much of anything that is not on your agendas now. Let confusion and greed develop and leave the planet as they will when it all comes crashing down. You may not believe it, but it is your choice. We are aware of the many needs, yes, and we are aware that many have been waiting for this for a long time. We all did it. We have done it. But it won't do you any good right now. You are not in a space to be well served. These are difficult times you are here now. You know this very well. You do the work in front of you and you keep the living moving forward and expanding it. Light and love as are the keys to change. Argue with that, but you will always come back to that here and now. It is your task, so to speak. Others are doing the heavy and dangerous work. Knowledge speaks, but wisdom listens. And that's all for today. Thank you a lot, dear friends.